Hi! In this video we are going to put on some ground cover, uh, make some grass and weeds for our model railroad. Uh, the supplies we're going to be using are a screen, uh, some soil I got from the yard and from the driveway, uh, some ballast would be helpful, sisal rope or hemp, um, hair product that you would buy from a model railroad supplier, and glue. The tools are a spoon, an eyedropper, and uh, one or more brushes, and a drill. And next, last, we're going to do the application of the ground cover products. We'll just get right into the actual project here. And I have a partially assembled model railroad sand and oil facility and part of the work has already been done where I did already apply some of the ground cover materials and a little bit of the weeds and um, we're going to just work on the back side and do a little bit more and I'll show you how easy it is <clears throat> and I start out with some glue product and you can make this by mixing some white glue together with some water and a little bit of wetting agent like some detergent. And I'm using a pre-done, pre pre-mixed project uh, product that I got from a hobby store. And I pour some in a little container. I use something like this for a lot of my stuff on my model. Uh, I use mixed paints in there and mix uh, different kind of ground cover materials and uh, it's really good for liquids mixing small batches and I just have a larger brush here I'm going to go ahead and just brush the glue mixture onto the onto the plastic and just try to get a liberal liberal amount on here uh, some can run off but that's not really going to hurt anything I put a little cloth down to protect my surface and I'm going to probably use the eyedropper when I'm done and um, <clears throat> put another coating of this glue over the top. So here we have our glue put onto our substrate. And we could put the glue over um, plywood, cardboard, whatever you're using for your model. Now I have some different kinds of soil. I got these, uh, I got this just from our yard. And the other one here is some gravel that I uh, sieved together, sieved out. And I just used a screen, old uh, screen from a screen door, screen window. And this is it right here. And what I did was I just shoveled or troweled the material on top of this and rubbed it like this and had some uh, piece of newspaper underneath. The, uh, the particles would either either uh, pulverize, get pulverized in the, in the process, or some of them would just be too large, they'd stay on top, and those I would just discard. So I made my own sand and gravel product using the screen and materials that were available in my yard. And I went to a couple different places. Uh, the driveway, I got uh, something that's a little bit coarser and uh, looks more like gravel. From the uh, just from the yard, I got something that's a little finer, and this I can actually get it even finer yet by rubbing it together with my fingers. And this is what I'm going to be using predominantly on this uh, end of the end of the building. And so what I did here was I would just go and pulverize it even more. This is, this is what you would call a loam, which is one of the finer soil particles. And sand is coarser and uh, clay is the finest. But this, I think, more closely replicates uh, your, your model railroad texture that you'd be looking for for around a building. So this is the pulverized the pulverized material and then I just go around and 
and sprinkle it on here and don't worry about putting it on too thick because after this step I can tip it sideways and dump off the excess. I'm getting it around the whole building here and I think I'll just uh, put a little bit more here. I'm going to use some ground cover materials. I'm going to tip it sideways here and just let the excess run off because we don't need it. Tap it a little bit. I could use one of my brushes too. I don't really want to get any uh, I don't really want to get any glue on, on one of my brushes so I'm going to use that material and then I'm also going to use some of this product uh, purchase product so we look like we have a little bit of weeds around right around the or kind of uh, vegetated material closer to the building and that's what I'm doing right here putting a little bit of this on getting a little bit of variation get a little bit more realistic yeah, get a little bit more realistic eventually this is going to go on a layout and I'll be like transitioning it into the rest of the ground cover so I'll be using the same materials and uh, getting it on and the texture is very important the finer the texture the more realistic it's going to look for HO scale this is HO scale uh, N scale I, you would even want to find something finer yet so there I have a couple different a couple get different layers down the third thing I want to do here is actually put some some actual weeds in and for the weeds I'm using this just this it's like string that I bought at the hardware store and it's like a rope and what I like to do is use a drill and drill a little hole drill a little hole where I want the weeds now usually the, usually the weeds are like at the corner of the building so we'll just go ahead and drill a hole go all the way through with this if you're worried about sometimes it can wrap up around your cloth or whatever's underneath there so it's might you might want to put some wax paper underneath it or have it right over a wood wood but I like to use this cloth for illustrative purposes so I got my hole drilled and I'm gonna just use this plain old uh, CA glue it dries really fast you could use a white glue here too but with the CA glue uh, we're gonna get a fast bond and I'm just gonna take here's my rope and it'll work best this frayed end is doesn't work that good it works best here where it's still together and get a little chunk about a quarter of an inch or whatever length you want and you can just go ahead and cut it straight off and later on you'll be able to separate the uh, the pieces and make it look more natural that way and I'm just gonna dip it in get a get a good get a good gob going there and I think I'm gonna have to use the tweezers on this and I'll see if I can get it in there if there's any stray pieces they can just come out oh that worked out pretty good so that went in and I'm just gonna go ahead and separate the pieces and a paintbrush could be with a little bit of the really light paint on could could paint some of these so you get a little bit different colors but this that has a dead grass appearance to it so there's one there's one bunch I'm gonna put this up here so you can get a see if you can get a closer look at that bunch of dead grass there I have another product that's a little harder to use it looks like hair and and it's what I really want to do is mix some of that together with the uh, with the brown grass and get a little bit of green plus brown going on so let's just go ahead and do that this would work for be real easy if you had a foam base and you had your buildings on a foam base because then uh, you could just push down the hard with your drill. Now I'm going to use this grass. I'm going to get off a little, a little, 
a little grouping of it that would be about the right size to fill in the hole. And this stuff's kind of a, it looks just like hair. As far as I'm concerned, it, it possibly, maybe it even is hair. And I'm just gonna cut some off so I have a straight top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it again down here a little bit lower. And I'm gonna use this. Now this is the part I wanna keep because it's really hard to handle if it's all going all over the place. So, <clears throat> and I'm gonna put it in here. I saw somebody else using this trick and I'm gonna see how well it works. And then I wanna get some dead strands in there too. So we're gonna take our, our other product that we used, this one, and we're gonna cut a chunk off of that. And we're gonna mix them two together here. And we're gonna make a little a little combination of the of the of the dead and the green and I'm just going to use my tweezers and get a little bit and kind of get it mixed up here so we have kind of a realistic looking bunch and I'm just twisting it together and I gotta get in the middle there, you know, maybe I'll just separate that all the way apart. You kind of have to keep it in a somewhat somewhat of a of a rope type of formation so you can stick it in your hole. Now that actually looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some more trimming. And once I get once you get it in there. You can kind of separate them out again. Well, I'm just going, I'm just doing some more trimming here. So I got a nice, you want a nice flat on the bottom that you're going to stick your glue into and that you're going to stick into your hole. That's what I'm doing right now. Get a nice, get a nice flat bottom. And I got a mixture of the, the dead and the green. And we're going to stick this into our hole. So here we have our glue gob and get that out of the way. I'm gonna get a little bit of the plastic out of there just in case we don't want that on our final there. And we're gonna be able to go around and do a little bit more touching up here too. But I'm just, I'm not gonna worry about getting all of it in the hole because we got the glue in place. The glue is gonna hold it. Now this this grass is going to be quite a bit higher. I don't know if they'd have, you know, when it's all dry, we can just go and trim the grass and get it so the, the length is appropriate. I this this one here, I think our length is appropriate. This one here, it looks like we're a little bit tall, but you can see what we're going for is the combination of the green and the dead. And there we have essentially this is what we're doing here. Uh, we put down our our dirt. Uh, the 